Yo, making uh, custom made suits. Speak your mind. That's the brand. I don't think I can paint speak your mind on this. So I will do it abstractly. Uh, a little bit of white acrylic. I'll just put an S right there. So speak your mind. It's important because if you think about it, you have um, not that many options, really. You have, I think, three options. The first option is the one I think everyone should do. Uh, the one I try to do the best I can, sometimes better than others, is to speak your mind. That's option one. If you speak your mind, what you're doing is you're designing your life to be fulfilling down the line. I would say speaking your mind is uh, akin to being, uh, have, like investing in, your in the future you. Because the future you can expand and will expand through the words you use and what you say and what you allow yourself to say. Um, if you get into the habit of speaking your mind, saying the things you're not supposed to say or the things that you might incur social shame for saying, um, for one, you'll, you'll learn how to deal with social shame. Uh, it will become, you'll become used to it, which is a valuable thing to become used to in these days because you don't want to be afraid to say what you think. Um, and so if you are afraid to say what you think, you might, you probably won't say it. It's hard enough to say what you think, even if you're not afraid. So, um, yeah, I, I would say that's a good skill to learn. Taking social shame. Um, it's like going to a boxing gym or something like that. Um, look at that speed. Where, where am I going to put the K now? Look, I've, I've dug myself into a little bit of a hole here. So this is where you get abstract. The K will come over here. And then it'll become a design... Uh, it's not a design flaw anymore. It'll become a feature. Oh, look how clever. But I didn't mean to do it. It was a mess up. And I don't know where your mind is going to go either. Maybe speak is fine on the suit. Uh, this will be the speak suit. So, um, where was I? Yeah, it's a valuable thing to learn is how to take social shame. Because, okay, for instance, I'm a musician and a songwriter, and I spoke my mind about, um, you know, the whole narrative we've been living through for the last few years, and incurred enormous amounts of social shame, and cancellation attempts, and all that kind of stuff, and, and a lot of it was effective, actually, and if I would have just, like, take, like, fallen down and been like, oh no, what am I going to do with my life, it could have been, you know, pretty, pretty bleak in certain ways. However, now that the narrative is kind of flipping back the other way, and I have no sort of limitations on my voice, so I'm making new music, and within the new music, my lyrics are able to just be exactly what I think and feel. Whereas I'm thinking like my cohorts or my colleagues that got in the habit of going, well, I better not say that, I better not say that, I'll stick to writing love songs. They're stuck now writing songs that A, don't really speak on these times. Now they can write love songs or your basic rock and roll songs, but they can't really speak on these times unless they write songs like, I love Joe Biden. And who wants to hear a song that goes, I love Joe Biden? <laughs> You know, or it's like, or if they write like rock and roll anthems about uh, whatever I support the current thing is. I mean, you want to talk about lame, that would be lame. So they have, so, so, and they'll, they're going to know that, that that's lame. So, and they're probably sick of just repeating the same thing on social media that, they, that everyone knows you're allowed to say. It's like, yo, we're all living here. We're all seeing what's going on. 
so um yeah so their voice is increasingly limited whereas my voice gets to expand and i'm not like bragging on my voice getting to expand what i'm trying to do is encourage you to speak your mind and why it benefits you in a sort of long-term investment like strategy for your whole life because when narratives do break apart and when the truth does emerge then those who align themselves with the truth are in a much better steed stead than those who just went along to got along to get along and by the way it's never too late either so it's not like those people are forever trapped if they wanted to start there's always going to be new things you can speak your mind about so there's always ways to graduate into the level of being not afraid to speak your mind so nobody's kicked out of the speak your mind club just because they were afraid to speak their mind once upon a time you can always uh there's always room to grow and i mean it's you know we all sort of get to a place of speaking our mind when we do okay so that's choice number one i mean choice number two i'm looking for another color i think purple speak um so choice number two is um maybe the your can go here choice number two is uh to stay silent and if you stay silent you annihilate yourself you're just participating in your own annihilation you're um you're basically doing you know your the handler's job for them we evolved through our words first there was the word you know so words are important so if you eliminate your words if you eliminate your voice i mean if you think about it who you are um sort of commands itself or sort of manifests itself through the action of your language and through your voice so just staying quiet about something you believe in is an act of self annihilation um every bit as self destructive as like a a drug problem or something like that it's it's another sort of outgrowth of that kind of thing so it's it's no small matter speak your i think mine should be a different color um and what's choice number 3 so speak your mind don't speak your mind Yeah, I guess there's really two choices. There was a third one when I thought of it. Uh, speak your mind, don't speak your mind. Seems like there's two choices. And and uh I think there was a third though. What would the third one be? Lie, I guess. I don't think that's what it was though. Say what you don't believe. I don't know. Anyway, speak your mind. You know, it's uh narratives are crumbling now all around. And we're, you know, I think the the point is is this sort of way these these implementations of control that have been sort of damning us all to a certain kind of existence are really getting old at this point. And the writing is on the wall people are sick of it and people see through propaganda trust in media is at an all time low trust in politicians is at an all time low does anyone still i don't know if i can mention his name you know the little guy the one that was is anyone like you know does anyone still believe in the leaders that they believed in 2 years ago i mean i don't think so only the most stubborn and um you know we're getting to a point now where wearing suits like this makes a whole hell of a lot of sense so anyway i guess i'll end this here if i can think of a third thing there was a third thing maybe comment below as to what the third thing is there's speak your mind and then there's don't speak your mind there's a gray middle 
kind of speak your mind. I don't know what it is. Point being is, speak your damn mind because it's more important than you might think. And the gifts that you will get from going with the truth and crossing the fires, because the other thing that does as well is it challenges you and threatens your comfort levels. And it forces you into new pathways in your life of, of thriving and surviving. And then it makes you build different, different skill sets and different talents. So it takes you on a journey. It's, uh, it's pretty heavy. Um, they got us addicted to likes and social media and all that kind of stuff for a reason to control. And so you have to take those shackles off and speak your mind.